Welcome to Top Shelf, I'm Adam and today we're doing a quick video on Plague Incorporated Evolved. Um, so we're just going to show you how to beat the game on the fungus virus thingy. Um, so I've got a couple of genetic modifiers, um, bonus DNA at the beginning, creationist to reduce the chance of mutating, uh, increase the chance of spreading plague by land, uh, bonus in arid climates and bonus DNA when de-evolving. Just going to do it on normal and I'm doing this because I saw a live screen of the gamesman playing this game and he was having trouble on this level. Uh, so I thought I'd quickly show you guys how to beat it on fungus. Um, so you can choose China, India or Madagascar. Uh, India and China are good because of high populations. Um, I like Madagascar for some reason as well. It's not the best starting point but we'll just show it from there anyway. Um, so you've just got your little bubbles popping up. You click them and they give you points on the bottom left for your uh, evolution of your virus. Um, you also have your little messages at the top and then if you click on the bottom left you get to your virus overview and you've got transmission so the first thing you want to do is water uh, you also have symptoms but you don't want to touch them until you've actually infected the majority of the country uh, so that's really important that's a key thing and then you've got the abilities of your virus so if there is a particular country you can't get to wait till there's only a few left and you can use these spores and that'll allow it to spore in uh, a country that you, you have not affected yet okay so we've infected madagascar in the top right you've got these arrows and you can speed up the game you can click these orange ones to get DNA points as well, which helps uh, you evolve your virus. We get a couple of them until we've got enough to do the second water. There we go. I'm doing water because it's got a port, um, so that's the best way for it to get across. Um, another thing that I usually do as well is if you go in there, do the bird one. Um, that's that's pretty useful, um, especially there's sometimes a pop-up message that birds are migrating heaps, um, so that's a really good time to do your bird one as well. So our, we're infecting Madagascar slowly but surely, but that'll increase soon. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is the air one, and as you can see this has started increasing dramatically now. Earthquake in Libya. Let's get a suck full of those guys. So we'll do the air next. More infectious than TB. Sweet. And there we go, Madagascar's fully infected. Um, see now this is the key problem here where the, where the virus mutates on its own. Do not click the OK button. Go to your disease, symptoms, find the bit that's mutated and click de-evolve. This is an absolute key especially with fungus because you don't want it to mutate. If it mutates um, people will notice it a lot more quickly. This way it'll just seem like a common cold and it allows it more time to sort of get across the country. And there's a red boat going to Australia. So now it's infected Australia. Excellent. Um, Australia's a little bit slow because it's, you know, it's a fairly well-off country um, and they're good on medicine. Um, so what you can do if you want to is you can go to the abilities and you can select drug resistance and that'll improve its pickup in that particular country. But we're not too worried about it though, at the moment. I'm just focusing on getting the, the rest of the air stuff up. And once we've got enough for that, then we'll be able to uh, spread across the continent. We want the gamesmen to take over the world. We should be pretty close. Here we go, 16, excellent. There we go. So now we do the second air one just increases the effectivity. That's the problem with the fungus one, it doesn't travel very well across uh, in boats or, um, or planes. Again, it's mutated. So we go to the virus, symptoms, click this insulin and de-evolve it. 
We don't want you to evolve yet. We want everyone to think everything's a-okay. Um, so we've upped the air thing. The problem here is because we don't have any drug resistance, it's not going to spread very quickly from Australia. But luckily we've got a boat going from Madagascar. And now that we're in China, it should spread out pretty quickly. Is that China? I think it is. No, Saudi Arabia. Um, so what we can also do, if you want to, is you can do your heat and cold, or we can up the transmission side. But the key thing I'm waiting on is this, because that really helps it spread across all the countries and climates, humids and arid climates, by plane and ship. So that shouldn't take too long. You can do this quicker um, by spawning spores um, around. Uh, that'll certainly improve the, the take up of it. And so we've got very high levels of bird expression, um, migration. So we could also do that. You could also do the birds here um, and then it'll have a good chance of spreading across the land a lot quicker. But we just don't have the points at the moment. So we could either wait and do the air or we could do the birds. But let's do the birds just for the time being. That'll help spread it across a few more countries. There we go. Fantastic. Extreme bird migration. Saudi Arabia is fully coming on now. Now we're starting to get the other countries happening thanks to the birds. Um, and that'll give us enough points to, um, as you can see, the plane going across there. That means that it's uh, flown across with someone on it. And you definitely don't want to click OK. I'm going to go to your virus because it's mutated. Go to symptoms, find the mutation, and de evolve it. And you basically do that until everything's infected. Um, you just don't want uh, mutations at all at this stage of the game. As it said, there is a little world map, so on the top right here in the blue, you can go here and I'll show you which countries are infected and which ones aren't. At the top, it sort of breaks them into which climates are hot, cold, uh, whether they're wet or, you know, they're poor. And you can click on them to see all the different sides. And then you've got all your research on the top and some stuff at the bottom. Uh, yeah. And these are all the ports and bits that were closed, but no one's closed anything because they're not aware. Ah, 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 they're unaware of our evil virus. The game's been spreading across the world like the plague is. So, I think we might be close now. There we go. So we'll roll that, and that'll just really increase the across the world, you'll just see bubbles popping up everywhere, and that'll give us a bunch more stuff, um, so we can up then, you can do uh, some of the resistance for the world countries, so that's sometimes a good one as well, this one here, if you evolve that then the main uh, wealthy countries will get quicker, and it's mutated again, so we want to de-evolve that. And no one knows, and use those extra points to improve the veracity of our virus. Um, as you can see, it's spreading across Russia pretty quickly. We're really starting to ramp up across the world now. Countries getting infected all over the shop. It is a bit of a just clicking lots of uh, bubbles, but yeah, we did do a review on it. I'll put a um, a link up to it. More danger, more infectious than the common cold. Um, so we've still got some issues over in America and that sort of stuff, so what we could do is do the rule that usually helps. Infected Canada, so we're probably just waiting on a couple of ones. Um, we can check the countries. Got a few still to go. Oh, mutated again. No mutations for you. Of all that. Um, so as I said we can um, do these as well that'll speed up the progression of it 
Um, so we might just do that because of the cold's taking a little bit of time. You can save all these points. It's just a matter of you know, to um, sort of smash out the people pretty quickly. Um, you can also have a look at like these particular areas are quite arid and that sort of thing um, and hot. So if you want to, you can go to your virus and do the hot one and that'll help it spread across those as well. And as you can see, they'll really start to speed up. Here. All right, the world's going pretty good. Let's see how we're going. Getting there. Oh, it's mutated again, naughty virus. Now you could leave that because we're pretty close. Um, but at the moment, I'm happy to just wait. We're almost there. We're just waiting in Greenland, I think. Um, Canada's done. What's this? Still New Guinea. That's infected, infected. Infected. Yeah, see, so we're only waiting for a couple. So what we'll do is we'll go to the abilities and we will spore burst. All right, and that'll be all the countries then. Um, should have been. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sweet. So you see all this pickup now. We can always do a bit more cold if you want to speed that up. So we could do a cold here. And there we go, that'll be done. And it's mutated. Now I'm not going to get rid of it now because we've got pretty much the whole country going. So we'll go OK. So now what we want to do is we want to go to our symptoms and we'll just start evolving nastiness. You don't want to do it too quickly because um, we want the caribbean to be completely covered. Um, but there we go, it's starting to really get um, infected now. Okay, so it's pretty good. So let's just start making it really nasty by evolving it, giving it all sorts of horrible stuff, comas and paralysis and whatever else you feel like it really. That's probably the key pathway though, going through here, here, here and here to total organ failure. And then you just add whatever you want. Shut down their airports, but it's all a bit late. As you can see, you'll start seeing that they're going to start fighting the cure. Canada's leaving the global cure, so you've got these little planes going across. And if the blues pop up, you can click it. Um, and that will slow down their research. But we should be able to kill it off pretty quickly. Um, one thing you can do, which I usually save points up for, is uh, changing the going to your abilities and you can start making it harder to cure um, but we should be right anyway you can go here and then that one and this basically resequences uh, the virus so it's a lot harder uh, they're at 41%, but, you know, we're smashing it. So we could either resequence again, or we could just add more and more symptoms um, to make it even more de deadly. Um, so you just look for things that increase the lethality on the right. So these ones aren't doing anything for that. So we'll probably go this one, I think it was. What else have we got? Yeah, that'll probably do. Fifty percent, but we've only got a couple of million left to kill off, so we should be fine. Uh, we've got some more stuff. Now we can do that. And evolve it a little bit more. And we should be good. So that's pretty much the key guys, de evolving all your stuff um, until you've infected the rest of the world. Once that's done, then just ramping up all those points you've saved on lethal lethality and, and making it as deadly as possible.
Nice. The gamesman is taking over. He's killing off the world thousands of people at a time. As you can see, research starts slowing down when there's less and less people, and that should be pretty much all she wrote. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're having any other problems with uh, this game, Plague of Incorporated Involve, uh, hit us up in the comments and we'll do another one. Thanks for watching.